If you should visit a place that has a lake in the woods and a beautiful waterfall, then you may also find two little engines called Scarloe and Reneus. The engines know everybody, and everybody knows them. There are two more engines, Sir Handel and Peter Sam. They used to be called Stuart and Falcon, but they like their new names better. One day, Sir Topham Hatt sent Edward to the works to be mended. A big surprise awaited Edward. Scarlowe was pleased to see Edward. He sighed. Just then, some workmen arrived. Meanwhile, Sir Handel was having trouble with some coaches. He tried to be kind, but the coaches didn't trust him. They were awkward and rude. There was worse to come. Some careless sheep had strayed onto the line. Screamed the coaches. They surged into Sir Handel and pushed him off the rails. No one was hurt, but Sir Handel limped sadly to the shed. Said his driver. Said the old engine. The coaches stood at the platform. Scolded Scarloe. The coaches quivered. The conductor blew the whistle, and their journey began. Scarloe remembered all the gates and stiles where he had to stop. The sun shone, the rails were dry, sang Scarloe. Presently, the line grew steep. Scarloe felt short of steam. Soothed his driver. Scarloe said to himself. <clears throat> but it wasn't. His springs were weak, and the rail joints jarred his wheels. At last, a spring gave way. Cried Scarloe. Sighed his driver, pleaded Scarloe. James was waiting at the platform. Clanging and clanking, Scarloe steamed in. James collected his passengers and respectfully puffed away. Everyone was pleased with Scarloe. But he was still worried. Smiled his driver.